Hey folks, it's Mike. Uh, it's time for the annual tradition, the uh, top 10-ish photos of uh, the year uh, that I've taken this year. 2021, by the way, uh, in case future me forgets to document this kind of stuff. Um, I've got, uh, well, ends up being a little more than 10, but I've sort of grouped a couple together, so it ends up being 10. Um, I suppose if I were uh, putting these in gold envelopes to nominate for sort of the top photo of the year, Meryl Streep would probably still win the award. Damn you, Meryl Streep. Anyway. So anyway, uh, um, this year I've been to a few new places that uh, I'd never been to before or been, you know, places I've been sort of close to before but not right in. Um, and, you know, I've done a few things this year that I uh, haven't done before, like uh, shoot on uh, film for the first time in 30 years, something like that. Uh, didn't develop the film myself, but eh, that'll come sometime in the future, maybe. If my wife lets me. Um, so yeah. Ooh, hey, beaver tails. I haven't had those in years. Ooh, I should go check, go check it out. Oh man, they're closed. Ah, oh. <sighs> maybe come back tomorrow morning. And I, I suppose I should let you in on where I am. I'm, uh, I'm at the Forks. It's a nice winter wonderland, even though it's minus 30. Ugh. I love you, winter, but I hate you. I really do. So, uh, the uh, number 10 photo this year is a photo that I took recently at uh, Birds Hill Park uh, of the uh, little tiny tree sprouting up from the ground uh, through the snow. Uh, sadly, someone, you know, when I posted it to Facebook said, hey, maybe it'll probably be eaten by a deer. Hope not, it's a cute little guy. All right, at uh, number nine is uh, this photo of a church out in the country. Uh, went out there to uh, chase the Northern Lights and uh, while waiting for them to come back, I uh, turned around, saw this church, uh, with uh, you know being lit up by uh, a big tractor with its lights, and uh, I liked it. Turned out nice. At number eight is uh, this photo from uh, St. Andrews, uh, right on the Red River. Um, it's a pretty foggy morning, and uh, oh, I've been wanting to uh, get some nice foggy photos uh, for ages. Finally got him, and uh, he went to Lockport. Lots of fog there. He even covered most of the dam. It's actually quite nice, but uh, you know, made for a nice little sort of riverside woodland sort of photo. So yeah, I liked it. I liked it a lot. But uh, at number seven is this uh, photo from. Uh, place called Manitogogon Falls, a place I'd never been to before, didn't even know about it. Uh, it's a two hour drive basically in the middle of nowhere, near, uh, you know, Victoria Beach, Grand Beach, that kind of thing, well, okay, an hour plus drive away from there, but still. Uh, nice, uh, you know, autumn scene there really, because, you know, it was done in September, October, I can't even remember now. My brain's frozen, so soon. But uh, yeah, beautiful place to go. All right, at uh, number six is uh, this photo of a uh, nighttime shot of uh, an abandoned barn somewhere in Manitoba. I'm not gonna disclose where. Um, been to this barn a few other times and uh, never really got some great shots at night, but uh, I think this one was a winner. Uh, it ended up being a 10 shot stack where, you know, stacked the photos just so I could reduce the noise just because I had to shoot at a very high ISO. Um, and I uh, really liked it. I mean, I ended up posting it uh, twice to Facebook and Instagram. 
uh, once with a crazy story about uh, a farmer who stole a UFO and then sort of modified it for Christmas so that, you know, three wise men borrowed a uh, car and uh, ended up driving into the barn. Uh, number five is, uh, well, tie for five. Uh, these two shots of uh, the Northern Lights from uh, back in March, uh, which I like to refer to as Aurora Month because it was strong all month. Hasn't been strong since then, other than one time in November. I won't get too much into that because, well, I missed the good parts that night. But anyway, with these two shots, one's from uh, Birds Hill Park. Uh, which is a pretty popular spot north of uh, Winnipeg and uh, pretty strong that night and uh, the uh, other one was from the undisclosed location where that uh, just turn opposite from that uh, that church that uh, was featured at number nine. Um, both nights were really nice nights and uh, both nights I had to do my best to stay warm just like tonight. Minus 30, really nice. Uh, number four is this uh, shot near Bebo um, of some nice, really nice lightning. Uh, first time in years I've actually gotten some really decent lightning photos. Um, this actually happened around midnight or so after uh, my wife and I had been out photographing in places like Gimli and uh, Matlock, I believe. Uh, and this was just on the way home and uh, well, we had to stop and take photos because it was really nice. And then, of course, on the way home, buckets of rain. I mean, buckets. I drive down the highway. No, no, no. Great. Now's the time for my uh, one of my heated gloves batteries to die. Ah, hands getting cold already. Uh, coming up at uh, number three is uh, these two shots of uh, the Esplanade Real taken from well, either side. Uh, first one was uh, a photo that uh, I took with uh, an actual film camera. Those were the days. Um, and uh, it was a really nice, uh, nice frame shot, sort of like we can kind of sort of see them behind me right now. And uh, I'd like to get a little bit more into, into film. Maybe even do a sort of a film challenge sometime in 22. Uh, which would be kind of nice. And uh, this other shot was from uh, my adventures back in January uh, when I actually was able to cross the river safely, um, even though my wife would probably kill me. Anyway, uh, but uh, it was a nice sort of, I like the leading lines or the, uh, the snow going towards the, uh, the Esplanade. Okay, that's it. Both batteries and my gloves have, uh, have died. Uh, I think it's time to go home. Got two more shots to go, but um, I'm cold in the Slurpee that's been in the freezer for six months. Uh, I'll, finish it, I'll finish this at home. I can't even talk. Anyway, back in the office, warming up. Minus 30, don't recommend it to anyone, honestly. Uh, thankfully, I've got a nice cup of tea here so I can uh, warm myself up, plus various heated blankets, uh, several pairs of socks, etc., etc. Um, down to uh, photo number two. Uh, was taken back in uh, July at Birds Hill Park. Um, woke up uh, the second morning that we were um, camping there and uh, lots of fog plus of course the uh, orange red skies because of you know the forest fires in the province made for a very well in my opinion epic morning shot um, as you can see in, in number two here uh, wow that's all I can say you know I, I, honestly 
I'm glad I actually got up early to feed the cats that day. Um, yeah, what, what else can I say about that? And uh, finally, uh, my, uh, my top photo for, uh, for 2021 uh, is this photo from uh, Pinawa, or just outside the town of Pinawa. Um, my wife and I had spent the day at Pinawa Dam Provincial Park, uh, you know, having fun, taking photos, uh, you know, doing the usual thing, um, and uh, had heard that a couple of our friends wanted to meet up with us in Pinawa a little later, so we decided to go to the town of Pinawa, meet up with them. Took some photos while we were out there, of course, because they're also photographers, and uh, ended up uh, at uh, a particular spot just outside the golf course, um, overlooking the you know the uh, the channel there, and uh, it was a you know beautiful um, early evening, fall, uh, and uh, you know calm waters and a nice sky, and honestly, probably my most epic shot of the year, personally. Um, not much else I could say about that, uh, but uh, yeah. And uh, as for uh, 2022, um, goals pretty much remain the same. Um, go to places I haven't been to before, uh, or go back to places that uh, I've been to, just you know, in different sort of environments, whether you know, different time of the season or foggy or whatever. Um, and uh, you know, hope to. Uh, make more videos out of them. Um, so sorry I hadn't been able to get many out this year, just, you know, stuff happens, that kind of thing. Um, so I guess at this point, uh, not much else I can say, but uh, see you next year and uh, do the usual, like, comment, subscribe. Happy New Year, folks.